Welcome back, everyone, to just some more talk on this national championship. Because over the last couple days, ever since the big breaking news at Texas that they fired Tom Herman and then they initially announced the head coach to be Steve Sarkeesian coming in for the Texas Longhorns, there's been a lot of talk about how that move is going to affect this national championship game. Specifically from both sides, you got on the Ohio State side, they're really picking it apart that this is really going to affect the offense, Alabama's offense, that Sarkeesian is going to be distracted. He has his mind on other things. He has to go into one of the richest ball clubs in all of college football and go in and turn that program around. And they think that because of that, that's going to distract him for this national championship game. He's already got enough on his mind. He has to go into recruiting and all that he's got to recruit. He's got to go in, get familiar with the Texas players. He's got to get familiar with the facilities. He's got to move. All this different stuff that Steve Sarkeesian is going to have to do when he makes a move to Texas. And I've heard some Alabama fans even talk about the same thing, how they think that Steve Sarkeesian going to Texas right now is going to affect the national championship in how he coaches the game and how he prepares for it and how because he's going to be have his mind on other things again like he's going over and taking over the Texas Longhorns like this isn't some I don't mean any disrespect to this team but this isn't some like San Diego State football team this is the Texas Longhorns at points they are the richest college football program in all of the nation like this team brings in a ton of money they pack the stadium their stadium holds over a hundred thousand fans and this is the state of Texas this is the football state and the premier team in the football state that Steve Sarkeesian is going to take over. I just want to talk about this because I find this very interesting. The mixed emotions that everyone's going through right now, what everyone thinks and everything. And I just want to talk about honestly why I don't think that move is going to be as big of a deal as many, many people think it is. I don't know if it's just Ohio State fans trying to get into Alabama's fans' heads and get them worried for the game. Maybe that they're trying to make their offense not look as good and just give them more confidence going into that game. Or Alabama fans, they're just trying to pick out every single scenario that could happen in that game. Again, it's not, I haven't heard that at all from like every single Alabama fan. There's just been some that I've seen that have had some concerns with Sarkeesian going to Texas and that he will be distracted on this. But honestly, I do not see this being a huge problem in this game. And let me tell you why. So, NFL draft coming up. Who on Alabama is going to the NFL draft? Tons of guys. You got Devontae Smith. You got Christian Barmore. You got Leatherwood. You got Najee Harris. You got Mac Jones. You got tons of guys on Alabama going to the NFL draft this year. Can they come back to Alabama for another year? Yes. Yes, I can. They got another year of eligibility due to COVID and everything. Are they going to come back to Alabama? No, they're not. They're going to go to NFL draft because that is... Still, their main goal, their goal, their goal for football is to make the NFL, make a salary, make all of this, and get to the next level. Does that mean any difference? Are they focused on the NFL draft? When they go into this national championship game, are those players focused on the NFL draft going into that game? Or are they going to be focused on the national championship game, playing in front of millions and millions and millions? Going to be the most popular event that night by far, and one of the most popular events all year round. For sports. Do you think that they're focused on the NFL draft? Do you think that they're thinking about, oh, who's going to draft me in this draft? While they're on that field, while they're preparing this week, is that going to be their focus? Preparing for the NFL draft? Or are they going to want to go out there and work for this game? The game that all their family and friends are going to be watching national television for. They're going to be on national television. Something that Alabama has done multiple times. Something that Ohio State has done multiple times. But this is the national championship. Like, this is... All of America is going to be tuning into this game. It is going to be an amazing game. Are those players going to go out there and not focus on that game? No, they're going to go out there. They're going to play their hardest because they know it's their last chance to do something special for Alabama. They know that they could increase their draft stock or whatever. They could do whatever if they go out there and play good in this game. This is one of the most high caliber games in all of sports. If you want to prove that you're ready for the next level at the NFL level, Playing in big games like this with the whole world watching is exactly where you need to perform well. And looking forward to the NFL draft and everything like that, if that's on your mind for this national championship game, it is not going to work. I feel like the same thing kind of goes for Steve Sarkeesian in this sense. Like, you've worked all season. Yes, Alabama, being the OC at Alabama wasn't your 
dream job. It wasn't, it was still a very, very good job. Don't get me wrong, but you obviously want to be a head coach at the next level and going to Texas is that next level. It's no different from the players. They want to go to the NFL because it's the next level. Steve Sarkeesian wants to get back in the head coaching realm and go coach at a big time program, which he is doing. Does that mean that Sarkeesian's not going to go out there and work his hardest for Alabama, put together a good game plan this week, put together, get these, his guys ready to go out there and perform on Monday, January the 11th in Miami against Ohio State, is he going to work any less? No, they. I think everyone in that locker room right now understands this is our last time together. A bunch of the players are parting ways. The coach is parting ways. So let's go finish on a bang. This is the last time. This is our last chance to do something special. And guys, we are going to be on national television. Do you think Sarkeesian wants his last game ever at Alabama to absolutely get blown out by Ohio State and his offense to play terrible because he's too focused on Texas and everything on national television. Again, this is on national television. This is the only game that is being played on that day for college football. There's no other games. The whole season comes to this point. And do you think that Sarkeesian's going to be like, I I'd be fine if we lose this game and we score minimal amount of points because I'm going to Texas and that's what I need to focus on. No, there's no way... That is going to happen. He is going to have his guys ready. No question about it, in my opinion. Also thing, another thing on why the recruiting, yes, people say, oh, recruiting is big for him. He's got to get into the recruiting carousel right now. He's got to go pick up some players for Texas. Early signing day has ended, and you have a week left. You're going to be fine. Texas is going to be fine no matter what happens this week in terms of recruiting. As soon as the confetti drops, as soon as you see those t-shirts handed out to those players with the nice script A on it, that's when Sarkeesian can go and recruit. Those five days, it's going to be okay. Texas fans are going to be fine. The program is going to be fine. Sarkeesian is going to have tons and tons and tons of time to get in there, get familiar with the program, get in the facility, go recruit and all stuff like that. It's going to be fine. But there's no doubt in my mind that this team is not going to be 100% focused on this game. This team is going into this game with one goal and one goal only. It's not to make Texas a better football team. It is not for Devontae Smith to be a top 10 draft pick. It's not for Najee Harris to be the first running back off the board. It's not for Mac Jones to be a first top 15 draft pick in this draft. It's not for Leatherwood to be the first offensive lineman off the board. It's not for all these different things. It's not for other programs. They're doing this for one thing and one thing only, and that is for the Alabama Crimson Tide and their head coach, Nick Saban. Imagine going through a whole season, a whole COVID season, where you have no idea what's going to happen Everything looks bleak. Everything, you have no idea what's happening in the season. You have game cancellations. You have to stay isolated. You have to be away from your families. You have to do all this stuff due to COVID just to give up and look forward to the next game. It just sounds absolutely insane. So do I think that Sarkeesian going to the Texas Longhorns before the national championship, getting hired by Texas before the national championship, will affect this Alabama team in the national championship? No way I think that that will happen. I think that this Alabama team will be 100% ready. They'll be 100% focused. And in my opinion, it might even help them even more just because of motivate because they understand this is our last time together. So let's go out on a bang. Let's get a ring. Let's do something for Alabama. Let's just have a good time. It's fun to win. I don't think people understand how much fun it is to win when you think about your future and everything and like distracts, distractions and everything. Winning a national championship, how many of you guys watching this video right now would love to just have the feeling, even not even playing in the game, if you're suited up in your shoulder pads and your helmet and you're standing on that Alabama sideline and you guys win the national championship, how much fun do you think that would be? That would be a once in a lifetime experience. That's not even playing. You're just standing on the sidelines with the players and everything and you, your team wins. The feeling is just unbelievable. When you work hard, when you know all the hard work that you put into it to go out there and win that game, and after the game, best feeling in the world. I've never felt that before in terms of a national scale, and I probably never will because I'm not going to play college football. I'm not going to play college baseball. I'm not going to play college basketball. I'm not going to the MLB, the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, whatever you want to call it. But it's something that only few people can experience. And if you think that this Alabama team is just going to throw away the opportunity to have that experience because Sarkeesian goes to... If you think Sarkeesian's going to go and throw away... First of all, 
that's not speaking well to Texas and what he's bringing to Texas. Because let's say an NFL job opens up later and Sarkeesian wants to take that job. Is he just going to give up on Texas? Let's say Texas is going to the national championship. Is he going to give up on Texas? If you give up in this Alabama game, that is not showing a good sign of Texas. So I, in my opinion, Sarkeesian's an amazing coach. There is no chance that he will take this game any light, any less lightly than he would have in the beginning. He's going to be 100% focused on this game. He's going to be 200% focused on this game. The Alabama offense is going to be 100% and 200%, a thousand, a million, whatever you want to call it, percent focused on this game. And Alabama will have the regular offense out there and go score a really, really high number of points in this game. That's just my opinion on this whole situation. I know a lot of people have lots of different opinions on Sarkeesian going out and going to Texas. And how that's going to affect the national championship. But in my opinion, it's not going to change. Alabama is still going to be the same Alabama team that you see every single week. Not to say that Ohio State can't beat that Alabama team. But I just think that Alabama is going to remain consistent. And constantly be that really, really good football team that we see every single week. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. Like the video down below. Comment anything about college football. Uh, definitely subscribe if you're a college football fan. And thank you for watching. And come back next time.